Let me show you how to change the bulb on this machine. So the bulb's blown. What I need to do is access the two screws in the back. There's bobbins in the way. I just need to take that down carefully and allow the thread to unwind. So I don't need to unthread the machine. Screws here. Be ready to catch them because they're very shallow. So we've got this shade here. You need to definitely make sure you've removed the electricity. So just disconnect that there and catch that and there we go. And you can unscrew the bulb. Now it tells you on here the maximum power for the bulb should be 15 watts. Okay. And you can see in here the filaments broken so there should be three broken filament uh, three attached filaments in there but one's broken which means you're not that the filament's actually broken which means they'll which means there'll be no electricity going through that no light now i've bought a light bulb from ikea and this fits in perfectly you can check the wattage is quite low uh, which means it's much more efficient than the bulb that was provided so we just need to install that in there and so instead of giving us a warm glow this will actually give us a nice bright daylight glow make sure that's in nice and securely and the other thing is it's more um it's better for the environment because it uses less power okay didn't need to remove the whole of that screw. I'm going to just screw that back in because it's easier to do it this way. Okay, so just screw that back in. Okay, once you've got it started, you can then just place that in there and rest that back. There's a peg at the top there to make sure that you get it sat in the right place. Oops. Okay, make sure that's nice and tight. Make sure that metal isn't touching the LED light. And then we can put this whole cover back on. Now, this doesn't sit in, wedge in easily. You see how it's going to fall out every time. So what I sometimes do is I put a bit of sticky tape on there to hold into place. Just a small piece of sticky tape. We'll hold it in place long enough. You need to put these screws back in. And if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. You can create your own magnetic screwdriver. It's great having a physics qualification. You learn all sorts of little tricks. Okay, and then all I need to do is just wind the thread back on carefully and place it back on its spindle. And no one's the wiser. Let's plug it all in. Oops. If we switch it on, yay. So I've got a lovely bright daylight light in there now.